What's up guys? We are going to start a new series where I'm going to do a proper app development touching all the important aspects while doing a large scale application. So to start with, so we'll create a project and I've given it a random name, something which I got from a random project name generator online. But yeah, so I'm going to create this project and once this is done installing, we will come back and you know we will look at how we can push the code to GitHub and then have a continuous integration with Travis so that the moment I commit anything on my project, it will be you know um, checked through PHP unit and uh, PHP CS for formatting of PSR2 and I'll be sure that any commit which I'm doing is not breaking the code. So I'll be back with this thing installed. Alright so we have our Laravel app installed and this is inside the Transverse folder. Now let me open it up in PHP Storm. Okay, and what we are going to do is the first thing will be to integrate it with Travis. And for that, we need to have this on GitHub, right? So, you know, um, I already am, you know, logged into Travis with my uh, GitHub account. So, first thing is we need to create a new repository so I'll just go and create one I think it's doing the indexing okay okay so a clean repository and then what we are going to do is for any Travis you know, integration to work if you go to the documentation add a dot Travis dot YML file is what we need to do so inside php storm yes it is psr0 namespaces okay so let's create the file i'll do touch and i'll create that file and i have already created it in sublime you know so i'll just pick it up and we will go through each of the lines and why we are doing it so first thing first we'll tell Travis that we are using language PHP and these are the you know, three different versions which we are going to test our code on 5.6 7.0 and 7.1 okay I think we can even skip this one because you know I'm going to anyways work with the latest version and so that's okay then what we are going to do is we are going to install all the dependencies composer install with the dev dependencies as well preferred source uh, for the latest builds and what we are going to tell composer is you know that don't prompt us for any questions because you know this is something which is happening on a cli level which we don't have control on so no infractions okay and then we need to copy a travis environment file and make it as env which will mean we need to create this file right so again cp.env.example to this which will then create this file and then what we will do is we will do php artisan key generate okay? all right and then one thing is vendor bin php unit so these are the scripts which we will be running first we will run php unit and then one more thing is php cs which is basically a package to you know um, check for code indentations psr2 standards for all the codes and things like that so yeah i would want that to be in place as well okay so with this done i think for this particular thing i need to do a composer require of one particular package 
okay so let me see i will go to item i'll search for composer require yes this is the package which i'm looking for okay i will just install it and once this is done again i'll come back and we'll move ahead all right so i think my internet connection is a little slow so it is taking time but yeah we have this package now so what we will do is i don't think we have git in here git status yeah we don't have it so we will initiate a git repository um, um so gs is basically a shortcut for git status which i have done um travis and everything is fine so git add all the files we'll do git commit init commit and then why don't we see what is the command here so get these two commands we need to run and so now we should be pushing the code to github all right so we have this pushed to github and yeah we have the entire repository here and now we need to sync travis hmm. last sync let us refresh yeah there's something really strange with my internet connection it seems to be a little slow so it's going to sync now and let me see if i yes i have this project in here so we can click on it and if we go in here we don't have any build histories as of now but let's see what we are we're planning to do uh, if we go to php storm this was the first command right so what is the output okay that is going to pass we know that and even this is going to pass right so if we change anything in our code and push it again i guess we should be you know looking at a successful commit so what do we do why don't we create a model for events so php artisan make model and the migration event okay um i'll have this inside module slash event slash event okay so how i'm gonna um structure my code is most of the things are going to be inside the modules and then the http controllers will have the folders and again that uh, particular controller for that particular module so uh, you know my controller will be controller um again it will be inside events event event right here yeah, event event slash event controller everything should be singular okay and let's see so we have controllers and then inside event we have event controller okay and yeah this is the model uh, right now we won't do anything in here right now just the guard it is empty and this is fine so yeah um we have a few files let's just do a git status and we will add the files in here okay and let us commit git push okay gp is basically git push um i have created a few shortcuts so it's a um, muscle memory i don't type the entire command okay now let's wait for some time again something is weird with github and so or maybe it's the internet connection i don't know it is taking time okay so we have our code on github uh I, it failed once i think you know it was not able to resolve github but now it, it is there so first let's see we should have two commits in here yes we do 
okay and now you will see this icon pending the Travis CI build is in progress and if we go here we will see that it is going to it is doing some processing okay and we can actually look at what is happening uh, where was it if I click here yeah so one of the two tests are running one after the other if we go here we'll see what is happening this is going to be fast because it's not running on my internet connection um, so yeah it is going to install all the composer dependencies um, you know as we have defined in laravel and our own composer package so see it is installing all these things okay so and we did a little bit of time travel and fast forwarded to the last part quickly so you can see once everything was installed yeah it did a cp env dot travis to env it generated the key and then it ran php unit and then it ran php cs so you can see what we have done is practically whatever is in here and then in here are being executed and this is this is common for both php 7.0 and 7.1 so yeah that's really a good way of you know um you know being sure that you know if my code is well tested then none of my commits or maybe you know none of my pull requ none of the pull requests which are coming in uh, will be or rather none of my commits will break if i am you know regularly checking the statuses and you know, i will i will come to know if there is anything you know which is wrong so i will know that the code is getting is breaking and the same goes for any pull request so anyone if you know they are doing a pull request i don't i don't need to sit and run the php units and do php cs to see whether the formattings are correct or not everything is going to be you know handled in travis and it is just going to give me a report which says you know like this that you know this, this was a successful commit so you know i can uh, in general uh, take a, i mean you know go with this commit or you know take any pull request so as to say so yeah that's how we do the integration for travis uh, we are going to move ahead with this application build a few features in it like the events and you know see how things are going so yeah thanks for watching guys if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel